a lot of loitering in Elbow, and it's provided a bit of room for G2 to go walkabouts, but Bram's keeping an eye on it. Kellox trades out the teammate of Nucky, but those duelists walking together. Fuck. It's time to plan. They need to make it safe. They need to wait for that Viper Wall, maybe, again. To seek for that safety. Oh, Sender, you gotta move. Oh, that's just great. Well was there. I like the idea that Sender was trying to hold on. Maybe he could get away from it in the corner, but there's not that much time left for Vitality to plant. Luckily, they get it down. 40 seconds now before we see the spike explode. Vitality, okay. 7 HP Loki is holding onto the backside. There's a recon dart available, and they don't really know where these G2 players are playing from. It's a wide open site, and Mixwell and Evolver are finding a lot of Jeez. success. It's a clear up. And Mixwell, well, it might be a bit odd to see him on the Killjoy, but the impact might be like, okay, they forced up. I need to be careful. I certainly need to be careful now that my position is oh, being pulsed. Shock darts coming in from Loki and Sender with the Sheriff headshot. Gonna put down the MVP of the last round out of the server for now, but there's still four members of G2s trying to swoop around this site. It's a long burden in progress. Vitality are holding on, a lot of pressure Aww. coming in, and Brams is there with a bit of a counter-attack coming in. Golden Mentor flashed, stunned, it's nice to see the Breach back oh. in play. But Kellogg's with the Marshal, that's a 2k for him. He's under a lot of pressure to find a little bit more, and time isn't going to necessarily be on his side. It's only the two he's able to get, and a force-up for Vitality was a peak. Can't quite get the shot, and look at that Nuki's rotation. Oh, it's a hesitant one. He was going for it, but now he's not too sure. Mostly because he doesn't know if there's anybody in tunnel or in mid. But mostly because this is going to be an A hit. Vak has managed to slip in. Evolva wasn't expected, but he's still alive, at least for now. The big duel for him to win, but Brams has broken in and broken onto those G2 players playing on the A site. The spike's going down, and that was a beautiful bait and rotate. Yeah, they tried. Nuki was thought it was more enough. Well, seems like the round is not over yet. Kellogg's Kelly's with the operator Nuki as well, who were saying, beautiful Reyna player, that lockdown that's gonna come out, either you gotta come out and destroy it, or you gotta leave. Player standing. Vitality doing their best to stay, Bram's trying to open up the sight lines, take on some of these jewels, but that lockdown has created everything that G2 need, but Bram's isn't going down that easily. Kellogg's now with a blade storm, trying to play in close, and he clutches nice. it out, that's the second round for G2, a two-all scoreline. A great job as per usual. There's a lot to learn, certainly from our perspective, watching and analyzing the game, but there's an easy bit of analysis to make. Kellox is good, and Kellox is very aggro on this defense. It catches a completely unsuspecting vitality. who have made some headway, at least into the tunnel. But Kuldementer knows that they're there. Yeah. He has the info. He doesn't have enough HP. He's not feeling too confident. He decided it's... To back off, that mid-top has been sold out by G2. Let's see if uh, Snooki didn't spot anyone. Oh. oh, the knife out, Mixwell. He wasn't expecting that, and there's been a couple of times where Vitality have really caught this G2 team sleeping, but every time it seems to be Nuki oh. or Revolver being able to bail out this team. The ex-Heretics members have been worth their weight in gold. I'm pretty sure Carlos would have thrown the checkbook at Heretics to get them, and even this early on, it's worthwhile. But here's Vat coming in. First play to ever get Radiant. We were starting with this Viper Spit. Vak is gonna say, you know what? You know who's a good operator? Me. Ends up with Kellex. I'm pretty standard across the map. Oh my god, also finds Nuki. Too no easy. No duelist for G2 this round. It was a I full find it odd. What? I really find it odd that you see the Viper's Pit being used and then they're pushing somewhere else. But clearly you're just opening up the door a little. I like that from Mixwell at least, it catches Brams by surprise. But that Viper's Pit doesn't really find all that much because now Evolva's found himself having to clear up some of the rest of the ground on this map. Mixwell's not even sure where to position himself, but... Might hear the Aldron, he definitely sees it at this point, and the Aldron oh, sees him, it tags it, the Hunter's Fury is going to try and connect and nice. chase him, and he's down to 20 HP, gets up with his life, but it's not going to be all that much good on this retake, but Evolver's got a nice little angle. Yeah, let's see if he can take advantage of it, they haven't seen him just yet, he knows where Sender is, he doesn't know the position of the rest of the other two, but he can, he can definitely think where they are, easily, let's see if Bacchus picks him. Doesn't now he has to group up. It was a very tough decision for them. 
Biffson is going to have a peek. He's going to flash it. It's smart stuff. There's all of that utility following. Mixwell, it really is coming thundering Ooh. down. And Mixwell still finds a way to win the duel, but there's just not enough time. And Vaquidis Operator really didn't have to do all that much. He if it is enough, looks like A side going to be the chosen one. Vak is doing amazing work with this Operator. You literally cannot ask anything else from him. Frankly, I don't be, think he's being contested all that much. There's no flashes, there's no sky or yeah. breach on this G2 side. But the flashes fix everything, but it at least makes sure that you can clear an angle of an operator if you're about to push it. Now the Viper's Pit, I like the position it's been in, used in. Look, he's going to try and slip by, and there's no player particularly watching that angle, and with that Empress, he's going to be more problematic. He's trying to get out of the way of Loki's recon dart, and Loki's just seeing this Rainer look all over the place, trying to work out where that force is coming from. And back, not with the operator, but with the blade. Sender with the off. Rolling Thunder is actually going to come through exactly where this toxic screen is placed. Ovova is on the map, he is on the site. Oh. The recon dart isn't going to find him as he manages to slip through. Can catch back, who's all on his lonesome, all of this cloud in utility makes it difficult for Vitality to get the kills, but Brams Amazing. has made his way in. That's a nice triple kill. Knows exactly where the rain is going to be playing from, and the Hunter's Fury called him into... It's going to catch onto one player, it's going to see if, what else it can grab, but it can't confirm a kill. Oh, now Nucky, he's been finding success in a couple of these fights, but not enough to confirm a round for G2. The Shock Dart takes the attention away, and now Brams. Maybe Ace of this for Call the Mentor, it's open, but now a one versus one. Let's see what one of the recent additions for G2 can do. Loki is there as well, and it's calm and collected for him. Very well done. Off the back of Rams, cleaning pressure. The Eldron's going to look one way, but it doesn't look the other. So Call the Mentor can play there. Loki's actually going to bring out the Empress. He can try and dismiss and go invisible. He can clear himself out of dangerous position, but the Hunter's Fury doesn't kill him. He catches on to Sender. And Brahms, a bit of a late sort of flank coming in from mid doors. Nucky's there to prepare, Kellogg's is there to help. And for one of the few times, it's only really worked out for G2. I say that though. Jesmond allows him to be. It's out in the open, nope. and that's a nice little flake for a Volva with the with the uh, Spectre. The SMG, yeah. So um if they've seen if they're not on A, they're probably coming through the back and they all are. Mixwell here is going to have a hard task. He shuts down the flash, but he is completely dumbfounded. Brams manages to slip on through without taking lethal damage. He's still quite low overall. Mixwell's oh, at, at least going to be able... He's going to relay that information, and Nukier is going in for the pinch. I don't think Vitality are going to expect this, but never mind. Jesmond was watching. Ooh. Double P comes in to at least trade out the teammate as quick as they can, but this is a lot of information that G2 can use. Yeah, and I think they still have that Recon. Here, call them into Stun Kellux. Finds Brands. Gotta go for the defuse. These post bomb positions are nice. The crossfires for G2 are comfortable, and whilst they are dropping one by one, it is just gonna be a Vova left alive. Not the straightforward B hit that's coming out of G2 this time. More play into mid, and frankly, Vitality haven't really been finding those jewels outright. But Sender finds a key one on Tanuki. He was going through Hall, and as we've been saying, Vitality have been holding on to these positions. Kellox was trying to catch on to Jesmond. The Toxic Screen is going to give up that spot. Mixwell is there to follow in from B, and another B plant coming in. More understandable and easy to retake numbers for Vitality. Oh, Vac oh, really needs to be oh. winning those shots and Kellogg's punishes. Oh no! The, the Vandal will consistently headshot on. Ooh. Vac can do similar stuff on okay. the Marshal, tries to dash out, and Loki is there okay. to at least finish off some of these kills. It's nice stuff, and this fast punching G2 has to slow down just oh, a no. little bit. A lot of utility coming in to clear these marshals, but Sender's just adding okay. more and more to them. And it's a we'll pack it up and Sender actually is just going to have to accept yeah. the fact he's getting detained. Evova isn't that far away Taking to punish. The There's the confirm. 
back. Just can't necessarily capture onto the coattails of the Viper that's made their way into the A site. Lockdown, Vitality weren't expecting it as much, otherwise they wouldn't be as flat-footed as they were. Yeah, and with the spike planted, they need to think about this retake in a 4v5, well, 3v5 situation. Never mind, Jasmine has another opinion. Kellogg's is do doing much better in this attack than in defense. Cookie also finds a bow with the shock dart. Steal. 3v2 on the situation. Fox taken. Make it close at least. Just had to take Kellogg. Thunder, There's, that's not an average what? Jonas lineup. I know he's watching party in this and he's probably thinking, what the hell was that? Rams now. Oh, he's gonna get shot down for the Hunter's Fury. The Recon Dart doesn't quite connect, but the ultimate does. Back. Oh, he's four in the midst of his own. Loki was shooting through his teammate and it just threw back off enough that one of the members of G2 could just peek out and kill him. Now we're seeing this Viper's pit in from Mixwell. Sender could be a hero here, top fragging for his team. It has a flash still, but this is an awkward one to break through. And G2, look at them. They're starting yeah. to sneak their way through. It's not only the, the Viper's pit, they also have the Viper wall. Oh, Jessman takes Goldamenta out. Gets oh. spotted though. <laughs> Oh. Now Vova is nowhere near the site. It's not the Viper's pit from Mixwell, but is that going to oh. be enough to defuse? No, not quite. He got halfway, so maybe another member oh, can God. take it over. The defuse it's is going to come in even before the snake bite hits. They do on the next map, but I think it's going to be Icebox, but still not there. Let's see what happens with the rest of this map. Vova wasn't quite the hero in the last round. Just looked for his fingers a little bit, but he starts off with first blood. Sender has been trading it out. Still a, a cheeky operator over in mid door that could catch up G2 if they try and pick this a little wide. Kellogg's clearly looking for jewels from any angle that he can take them. At the back of this Aldron for Loki, they're going to scout out exactly where these G2 players are playing from. You can tell on this site with the pyramids. Not all that much room to hide oh. behind, and Sender, it's a nice fault line to try and uproot where Kellogg's is playing from. He's going to finish it off himself, and Mixwell actually with the lockdown playing in close. Position has been given up by the Recon Dart, but the defuse is going to be stuck. Oh, the Nanoswarm oh. actually stops it in time. Mixwell might be able to clutch it out, and Brams, whilst he gets the kill, he's going to get, get detained. detained that is, is an incredibly time? smart lockdown. Yeah, I don't think he is. Unfortunately, oh not. Oh my god. Peter, team a couple of them. They were pretty important for the team. Looks like they're going again for this A side. Oh. Here is back, taking Nuki. One of the duelists is off. Let's see what Kellogg can do from inside this point. Oh, this utility raining down to try and take the jet out, but it's not even them that takes the damage known to G2. It's Vitality instantly respond, and they do so with emphatic fashion. Yeah, and Brands having the hell of a mate. Really important for this round. It's an important one. Sender looking to close this one out. These rolling funders have constantly found impact, and Nucky with a sheriff has also been one of the things that you can't really ignore. Sender held down from multiple pistols from multiple angles. Be probably on the other side of the wall. See what we can do. Oh, he left it. He left the operator. He's going back. I don't think Vitality are going to expect him to be up this close, but he wasn't going to expect Vike to instantly play off of it. Practically change how both these teams want to play this map. Yeah, definitely. A new attack. It's coming in. Pretty strong sender. He's trying to retain this, but Mixwell ends with his life. The fact that he's trying to find Kellex. But still, it's a 4v2. The spike that's going to be planted right now. And we need to ta re retake this on a 4v2. Shug that from Loki, trying to catch onto okay. a player, but they've long left where the spike was. They gotta, they gotta mirror what they did in the first round. That would be pretty great for them with the SMGs. This back is just gonna keep an eye on Rafters. Now G2 have been taken away from the action a little bit. I told him more than happy to give up the space because they're just fine in jewels. Kellogg's runs into the sightline of Rams. There is a little bit of a pinch coming in from Sender, but it's a patient one. The Guardian does catch on to Mixwell. Now Vova holding on, trying to spray in close with the SMGs. But it was good play from Vitality, yeah. knowing that it was... All the info, but that drone from Coldamenta is going to get the rest. Mixwell waiting from 
He spawned. Let's see if he expects Sender as well. He's smart enough to to expect him there. Off. Pretty aggressive and slow from Vitality. They decided to take out that mid, but that was not enough. Great cleanup. Just in that moment where Vitality's comms are gonna fire up, just as Nucky gets our first kill. Maxwell's able to punish Vitality just a little more with that mid control. Kellox is in B. No place is safe for Vitality, but they're running away from the action, looking to save. Oh. And if they can actually take the Operator out the hands of Kellogg's now that he's fluffed his lines a little bit, then that would be even better. Make the best of a bad situation, and because oh. he's on his own, he's still able to hold from Belt. But again, the Aldron is going to try and clear off where these Vitality players are playing from. Considering this slow, oh, Vak is in a very precarious position. Bladestorm's forced out, and luckily Sender's there to actually protect the teammate. It's actually going to force him over away from this fight altogether, and that's because Mixwell seems to believe that this B site is moderately free. I wasn't expecting Brams to rotate as quick as he did, but that's really... With this lockdown to push them away from A site. So they only have 35 seconds, briefly, to get on site. Nuki finds Loki. The Ables again. A 4v4. Sender is playing amazingly today. Oh, and his lonesome as well. Thin ice, if he screws up, it gives a lot of space to G2, but he's not really done that throughout this series at all yet. In fact, it's his to clutch up now. The Vova is going to be able to plant the spike, and you're right, the Resurrect is available, and it's why Cinder looks like he's scarpering. Loki, the choice is an interesting one, but having that recon dart to be able to fight up this yeah. clutch is good, and a Vova just escaping the battlefield and going somewhere entirely different. Might be even better. He might even heal himself. He's only missing 11 points He's got of a health. lineup for it. He, he should be able to, like, wallbind that position, or at least peaks from it. Yeah. Also, uh, very smart from Sender. He didn't even hesitate on running uh, to Loki when he was in a 1v1 position. Trying to find the right pixels, and they are the correct oh, ones. They have to, though. Oh. Shot it's a flimsy attempt, but Evolver master at this point. Back's the one playing in tube, is gonna back out as much as he possibly can. There's, there's a lot chasing him, including that Hunter's Fury, and Sender still wins that duel onto Kellogg's. Yeah, but call him in the Avengers, the death of his teammate. Mixwell again with this mid pressure onto the kitchen, finds back. 4v3 right now, that Viper's paid there. Apparently, it's gonna be crossed by G2, they use that drone to get there. But where is he? Oh. That was enough. I don't know how necessary that was because that was a Viper's pit placed in that position and now the economy of ultimates for G2. Pig, you know you're in a 1-0 situation, you really want this map to be yours. Oh, Sender is holding on still, that's two for him of over. Gonna try and protect out three members of G2 as the spike is going down. Mixwell going to try and push and face and might get more than what he was expecting, Brams is just head-on facing Evolver's position given up from Loki. And the A hit, again, not going great for G2. Pull them into Picos. Bob and Dean. I'm sure there's lots of it. I'm never Chicken gone. We have a lot of them in the UK, actually, the more I think about it. 30 seconds left. The lockdown actually used more to create space than to shut down a retake for G2. Or a post plan, even. And they're again finding a lot, and the Vova finds himself in this duel alone. Takes out one for Jesmond, and Brahms isn't afraid to get in. See if that can happen. He's really gonna go for an aggressive pick here. Oh, nice. nice little flick up. Kellox actually is the one to do some damage first, but not anything lethal. I think Vak overstays his welcome there just a bit too much. Oh. Not only is that brought G2 even, but the Resurrect oh. actually gives them the number advantage. Now, Sender is That's still trying cool. to hold on. It's a nice snake bite that actually comes in from Mixwell. Loki's more than prepared to push off of it. Yeah, Loki that had to bag, and uh, Sender was completely sold out there. He was trying to help his friend Vag, but he couldn't, as the pressure from G2 was too strong, especially with that Venom from Viper. And the plan's gonna be here anytime soon. Not a Boba. <laughs> Jasmine gets a kill from beyond the grave. 
Two members of Vitality both coming in from the same position into Orange and Loki having the Aldron is going to try and quickly see if there's anything nearby. It's destroyed early. Mixwell catches Brams as he goes in for another fast peek. Play it's similar. Just seeing a Volga give up the whole site. The only one that's put it in that pressure is Nucky who decides to heal instead of dismiss. Desmond's there to quickly peek off of it. The trades for Vitality have been incredible. Especially when they play it as tight as this. D2 not really working with much information. Kellogg's playing on his own on B. Is it going to find much? But it's A site now starting to have Vitality members on it. Yeah, Bo is probably hearing that. I mean, not not exactly. He's literally going to hear the spike going down at some point. But he was too concerned about what was going on in mid. Uh, probably because Colamento said they're trying to get in tube. They're trying to get in kitchen. Let's see what they're doing in mid. The spike is going to be planted. Now it's G2 that are going to have to regroup. See what Kellogg's does against Jessman here. They have the info, at least one of them is there. See what they do, they're pretty split, they need to group up. Maybe playing pairs? Yeah, speaking of pairs, we were saying before about duos. Spanish duos, a lot of them have come in saying David Villa, Torres, Xavi yeah, and Iniesta is... I, I yeah, mean, I did I, I can, more meant me like hosts and celebrity people of that kind, not just well-known Spanish footballers. Although there are some absolute gems in there. A good amount of young talent coming oh. through, very similar to this G2 Aww. team. And Sender's done enough to hold on. Pistol round is going to them. It was a long attempt, and whilst Kellogg's is the last alive, it's not going to be his team taking the round. He's going to... Sender's on the cheeky pick. I was a little worried that he <laughs> Mixwell might just turn around and get the kill in. We've seen that a couple of times. So oh, cast doesn't just... need reminding of that. But yeah, Sender's... I mean, it's over now. Considering to be a threat in mid, Brams is now pushing through. Sender does go down, but Brams is able to at least open a door into this B site. The spike still might be a bit of a while before it's planted. Brams doesn't want to be too far away. Certainly, if he wants to pick the angle, Kellogg's is keenly watching it with the operator. Spike planted. Oh, the top of the head. Oh. Close quarter. And again, he was playing an operator glass cannon. He's only not going to lose his ultimate. He's also going to lose that operator. Only Colamenta here with the Vandal. He probably is thinking of saving it. He doesn't see. He doesn't have enough info. He just he has no info at all. Or how he can manage it. He does have the recon, but... Yeah, France again. Still with the Spectre. Is he going to go for the lockdown? He just didn't know that Colamenta has been in a lobby. Probably just preparing that on a custom gain for days okay. and he also finds okay. two the spike goes on the floor pull them into taking this round for g2 definitely what they needed still not over uh, vac is actually having to give up the operator and play in for a closer clutch coldament is still alive now he has the hunter's fury loki just used his it was more a desperate play and with 20 seconds left it's gonna be hard to try and make your way onto this site now there's a gap using their own wall to try and get in onto this corner. At least in this spot, that can protect Coldamenta. He's playing in close, breaking the wall as soon as that noise is given. He's oh, already got a multi kill. He's not going to quite be able to ace it out, but Nucky and Evova, like sharks. Who well, knows? It can be really difficult to deal with. Tries to wall bank to see if he can get a rogue like shot okay. to hit in. But Vitality are playing within it. They've planted the spike up in the high ground. I think that's one of the reasons why Cold Dementor wanted this Odin. Yeah, and so you, you said where, and I said B-Point. This, uh, this whole B side, this little tube, it's gonna be pretty hard for them. But also, with the Viper's bid. Oh, makes will find oh, Jessman, there's no more! Oh, and there's the follow-up too. Hunter's okay. Fury now is coming all the okay. way in. Actually, from distance, he's gonna get onto Vac, but oh. he's just hopping up to the high ground. Luckily, it's an angle that Kellogg's can clear close up. He's continuing nice. on the trend. There's the triple kill, and now it's all up for Brams. He tries to take the fight onto Cold Dementor, but isn't gonna hit it. Doesn't know whether to peak high or low. The peak slow oh. gets Kellogg's and gets Cold Dementor. That's a hell of a clutch for the... Come chasing him. He's not gonna find him, though. Let's just go back in. Pretty risky going back in if he wants to keep it up. Vitality plays oh, can get easier and easier mind? to spray down. Never he mind? finds the timing. He retakes back the space. It's only Vac that's able to stop it. And suddenly Vac has found himself a nice bit of opening. There is a blade storm still in play for Kellogg's. He's jumping onto the high ground and he's taking the attention perfectly. Push them away from sides. 
Oki also with the push. They they finished with the mix wall. No controller for this. Spikes going down. They're going to be able to plan almost freely. 4v5. This is still doable for G2. Resurrect it can is. be used to bring this to a 5 versus 5 and considering where the player has actually died. It's a bit out in the open. Yeah. That might try and peek off of it instantly it's it. it's as soon as he it. hears it. But he's better to just play it safe. The Empress has actually diminished. It was used up from Nuki and now it's come down. And Sender is trying to close in and stuff these DT users are happy to run through hell and high water to avoid it from happening. Oh, Vitality God. now finding the fights. They played it incredibly. The mix one needs to be careful here. Spot somebody, throw down a couple of snake bites, and the fact the fact finds that opening onto Nuki, that's very concerning considering where Mixwell is. And Mixwell cannot go for the refrag, but he can go and find Sender. He just may finish up with his life. They know what the spike is. They also know that they don't have the Viper, they don't have the wall, they don't have the smokes to counter this entrance from Vitality. They're still thinking about it. There's not they're not entirely sure. They would knew they knew that there were two players on the b-side they don't know about jessman's position and he's only playing with the marshal that full shield but we both we all know that that's enough for him it's an important player that vitality have lost though the sage means that there's not going to be a wall i don't really know why kellox goes quite low health so as evova is forced to heal you're waiting for the next wall to go plan still 20 seconds and take care because goldamento with this odin can do a lot of damage they may lose this out of time Oh yeah, the time is still oh, good. Oh my god! That called a mentor Odin Please could come in to absolutely Please, ruin Vitality, yes. and it does! Oh, what a dramatic way! I suppose for G2, they stepped back a little bit. Divided Vitality room, and with that Viper's Pit, it's gonna be a real issue to get through all of this. Oh, but Nuki oh. finds a way to re-kill Loki. Yeah, he finds the kill, they need to break the wall, and they need to counter this boss plan. Mixwell also finds back. The three situation, 3v3, three three. oh god. Possible to imagine what's happening here. Rams is. It's all really coming down to post plant utility potentially, at least playing far away. The wall has been broken. Kellox wanted to try and find who's left, but Sender is going to try and spray through. Kellogg's trying to hold his nerve, but the 4k for Sender is there and an overtime. Freeze, but this map, it's so close. Like the attack from both teams. Sender with the aggression here, Goldamenta finishes off with his life. Loki with the refrag, and a late, but he's also gonna use the drone. Kinda risky that, but looks like it's gonna work. Go back does here. Oh, this is balls of steel, oh, but Kellogg's yeah, does check it. So maybe thinking, this doesn't seem quite right, just checks in the right spot overall. A sage wall is needed, one of the key components that was missing when Vitality went for that hit and the Odin shot it down. The snake bite, it's a nice liner, but just the wrong side of the wall. Vova is still holding close. Now, does Jesmin know that the sage is still going to be there? Well, he's going to try and break this wall. Not quite done it just yet, and Vova is playing very close. I don't know if Vitality are going to expect this, and there's only two players left. Yeah, they're not holding that angle. G2 on match point. Really just need somebody to tell him to mentally reset. Play it back. It's what Sentinels did very well with 10s. To keep that player on a leash to an extent. And it's exactly what he's doing at the moment. Not overstepping the boundaries and Vitality going in for this retake on B. And just like Vitality needed to win that round to take it to overtime and played it simple and played it classic, this is what G2 is doing right now, playing a classic post plan. Yes, we're going for the peak, that's oh. nice! It's even better, and it's shocked that from Cold Dementa from all that way, that's actually the one that makes sure that no more kills can happen from him. Now Vitality going in for the defuse, but Cold Dementa. Put all that we know on the most simple, on the simplest thing. So we can have a nice execute, especially because of what you were saying, right? With this score, things are really, really tough mentally. You need to stay out here, and hopefully G2 are giving this a lot of space. Oh. It's just called a mentor, just oh. like a woodpecker just chipping away, and that's a very key kill from Mixwell. Nice. He also uses that Venom to try and postpone the plan, but it's not going to be possible. Still, it's a 5 before situation, the retake. It's gonna start anytime soon. They're starting to take that control over the site. Good for them. Remembers of Vitality. Now bring the honors even. 
Just dwindling bit by bit. Sender just caught with utility in hand. That is so unlike him. And now Loki has to clutch it out. Otherwise, we're going to ascent. Snakebite is going to create a bit of space. And Mixwell knows exactly where he is. That's key. Finding these kills. Now up to Why Mixwell. But he peeks it just before he's shown up from the recon dart. I don't know if there's enough time. It's going to be incredibly close. Oh, for pizza. Because he's going to go back. And the rotation from Vitality are going to come in. Now the breaking through, Brahms is holding on and he's continuing oh, on, that's a 4k already! He's not gonna get the ace. Slight pick to break it, and a boba again with the smoke. None left though, the attack needs to go, the execute needs to be now. Tournament and a boba getting the kills, open and Jessmine just with this judge needs to defend. B side, also with Brands on the back side. It's not gonna be. Oof. He's not completely sure. He's not gonna risk it. Oh, now he knows. God. So those nanos from um, making Kellogg's leave his position, and the spike is walking back again towards B. Nuki here. It's a privileged position for him. And Jasmine's not gonna expect him. He's one away Big from Brands as well. And Kellogg's. Who gets caught with. Well, burst in hand, and Vak is doing okay. a pretty good job of holding on before Revolver takes him down. One versus two now. Rams and Sender making their way into the site. Was their initial play that started off the round with that kill on Coldementa? The flash is near on perfect. It shuts down Revolver and what he was trying to do. Rams picks up the 3k. Okay, going in to safety behind the logs into the boathouse. Does get hit by the paranoia and provides more space and time for Kellogg's to really get in there. Revolver. Teleporting out of the way just oh. in time. It's a good press because now it's areas of the map that Vitality need to clear. The Bova's not even near the action anymore. Yeah, and Nuki, after getting the kill, he walks off that wall. Spike's been planted, and this 3v5, I think, yeah, they're gonna save those guns. So this is gonna be. Oh. At least they're gonna try. Bram's definitely. We were telling he's a pacifist. Here's an all the kill J setup. He's ready to defend this A site. The execute is coming in at any point. Rams is ready. Oh. The great start oh. for him, but Jesmond's the one that's really starting to shut the door on G2. Coldamento is prying in open, but no before he can even blink. I don't have a full buy here, and just an arrow theft to work off of Kellogg's needs to be careful, Ooh. but it didn't even matter in the end. He still wins the duel, he had no doubt. Really winning. Thank God that he needed to throw the vandal. <laughs> yeah, good job. Now the Killjoy lockdown is going to not be used. It seems that that's the thing that, Bra that Vitality want to be able to do to just sort of keep that space away, but it hasn't stopped G2 from holding in this spot. Jesmond is the one to fall. If you're G2 here, you know that this B side's oh. open and Kellogg's, he doesn't need anything else. He's out aiming some of these players. And Evolver at least watching the flight. Yeah, let's see if Evolver can clear up that backside. Loki and Sender are inside. That recon arrow. Oh, this is the elbow. It's not gonna kill him though. Oh. Wanna get Loki. That's a nice reaction though to get onto Sender, who was quiet the whole time. His utility still coming through, and Loki somehow manages to survive. Nucky from this wall boost, it was just in the nick of time as the wall broke right towards the end. But 30 seconds to go. G2 seconds trying to plant the seed into Vitality's head. That it's a bit of a bait and headed towards B. But no, Sender is still there. A vac even. I almost mix it up these players now. He's still there with the operator. Catches oh. Mixwell, bodies him. Spike is going to go down fairly uncontested, but it's still a free versus free. Yeah, the spike's going to go down, planted right now by Mixwell. Nuke is going to be playing from B man, and Bram should know and clear. Oh, God. You know, it was a 50 disaster. <laughs> yeah, it's an angle that really should have been cleared. Nuke still continuing to be a threat here. Now, one versus one. Jesmond up against Coldementa. Coldementa's been able to clutch out a few of these, and that's another one to the tally. Fifth round for G2 on.
If I tell it to you, it's a question of how quickly you rotate because his execute is now going to explode on through. Kellogg's is always there. He's always there to break you through if you're trying to play on the site. And whilst the rolling thunder is always good from sender, there's no follow up. Yeah, no follow up. And he catches up Bram so he cannot follow up. And Mix will hear this position in tree. He's going to be pretty determined for the team. Kellogg's frames Bram's from his feet. Ah. Uh. This is too easy of a round for G2 right now. He's been playing much better on Ascent than he has done in the last couple of maps. One enemy remaining. He has been the true entry that you want. He could be ending this round with a multi-kill, but look for the reinforcements also comes in at that. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to get the kill with that shock there. That would have been amazing. Look how many two. players from G2 are waiting though. Yeah, There's so many looking them. for these fights it's... and now they're going to start to find the ones that are necessary. Yeah. Kellogg's gets one. Send it down to 26 HP. It's the last play in mid. He has the spike. That's the spike down. Pull them into following through. I think just taking pot shots with the wall bang. I have the spike. And you know, it's, uh, there's a reason why that play with Sage is so basic and classy. Put in that wall. Close in CT up to any pushes from there, and it's because that push onto CT is uh, a, a, a coin toss. Lamenta here finding Jessman, and Aboba's gonna finish Loki. And as I was telling you, once much, but Vitality uh, scared away from it a little bit. 30 seconds left, they're heading towards B. Yeah, but if Amplex Phoenix had taken up all two. 30 seconds to start the attack and they're gonna run literally run onto a but the, i don't know if they expect the moment to be this close and with the specter you gave him everything that he wanted 13 seconds he gets two kills find the third and this is almost impossible for jesmond back just trying to make a run for it and jesmond's nowhere near the action here i don't know if this this flank with the operator is it gonna turn out but he also has a storm blade in case he needs it he needs it Kellogg's lurking with the Operator is somehow working out great for G2. He's going to continue to beak. He's going to find the fight against Brams. And as we see Vitality using the lockdown to open up the A site, they're in a nightmare scenario. Between a rock and a hard place, he's dropped the Operator, yo, yo. picked up the Vandal, and he's in for the ace. Amazing play from the recent addition for G2. So let's see if it goes for G2. Otherwise, we'll be back that spot. Rams that finds Smix well, but Nuki's there for the refrag. Still, 4v3 situation right here. Spike's found his way onto A side. Oh, it's gonna be pretty hard. His eco left. round again with all the this sheriffs. Maybe just get the plan and also the extra money because they're gonna play everything. They're gonna put everything into this last round. That was unlucky. That was really unlucky. And again, one of these paranoids is making things tough for Vitality. We're playing this very close and having this deep hold. Oh. Kellogg somehow is still alive. He was just there as bait, the rest of his team. So, yeah, it would be like a three something, three low. But yeah, definitely. If if this is your last map, look at Kellogg's opening it again, taking Jessman out. And he keeps pushing with that operator. I mean, when you with have the a help KD. Of if, as well. Yeah. When you have a KD. Oh, Loki here. They have the same opinion on that one. Needs to be the villain. He needs to keep Vitality in this and does so. Gonna peek out and find a fight against a Volver. It's not necessary to push on any further than that. So much for Vitality to make work here. They have a player advantage. They need to set up these plays now. Brams just caught in the middle of two G2 players. And as Vitality are trying to find information, they're finding fights, and at least they win oh. this one. Sender's opened up this B site, but Mixwell is right there, right in front, and back is trying to close him down. Yeah, they need also to use that red, but they're not going to be able to use it on anyone, because look what they die. Bram's dying in that position in short A is really unlucky, but Loki once he did that same... Uh, strategy for at least two or three rounds in a row and i think it really wasn't working for them they were probably waiting for some aggression from g2 but g2's not needing like right now they're not needing to be aggressive so that why would they they do manage to get this two rounds where they've been way more explosive in and slobs trying to keep him at bay allows sender a bit of space to go for a peek it's actually nucky that gets the first kill over in mid link it looks still there with the operators two sightlines to watch 
multiple players could come out of either of them, so instead of trying yeah. to overstep the mark, he's quite rightly backing out. Knows when he wants to be passive, knows when he wants to hold, because Evolve is doing a similar thing in Trey. It's finding success. The Resurrect for Vitality is going to be used. Evolve gets a second. He's out of the server for now. Four versus three for G2. The spike is eventually going to get planted. Now, Vac holding in through the remnants of the barrier orb that he put up. And it brings Evolver back in. The numbers advantage keenly in favor now for G2. And they're still holding on to these positions. It's really this neutral fight. Kellogg's again going in for this third peak, seeing if he can find an opening, see if he can find Vitality. As they're slowly breaking away and getting these kills, Mixwell just jumps out. Vitality is still able to hold on here. Nucky again closing in up and back rushing onto site now needs to make it through. That's onto Kellogg's. The defuse is being attempted, oh. but Nucky holds his nerve. He's able to clear it.